Okay, in this section of the video, I just want to show you the proper way to leave a truck stop in the morning. Um, after you've done your pre-trip and you're ready to go, uh, you've already checked the fifth wheel, but we always want to do a tug test to check the fifth wheel and make sure somebody hasn't come by and uncoupled you in the middle of the night. Truck drivers will do that. I don't know why. They just, they don't like your company. They don't like you, whatever. So to do a proper tug test, you want to push in only the tractor brake. Place the transmission in first gear, push your clutch all the way in into the clutch brake, push it down into first, and you don't want to let the clutch out all the way, just let it out enough to where it'll tug against the trailer to make sure you're coupled. You can feel the engine pulling against the trailer, that means you're still coupled. Do it twice, I always recommend doing it twice just to make sure. Alright, once you've done your tug test, go ahead and release the tractor brakes. We always take off a second gear. You can use first gear if it's on a steep uphill with a heavy load, but you really only need to do it in second gear. Watch your mirrors as you're pulling out. Um, I don't have any trucks beside me today, but I still want to watch my mirrors and make sure there's no obstacles on the ground that I might have missed while I was walking around. Idle out slowly. Don't throttle out. All you have to do is let out on the clutch a little bit until the vehicle starts moving. You want to keep your foot over the brake and apply just a little bit of brake pressure as you're letting out the clutch to make sure that you don't roll backwards. So we're in second gear and we just shift into third. These are not synchronized gears like in your car. You've got to time your shifts and let it drop about 200 RPMs. Now I'm in third gear. Our trucks have 10 speed transmissions. The one that I'm going to be getting this week is supposed to have a 13 speed transmission and I'll show you a little bit about the 13 speeds. I've driven just about everything. I've driven nine speeds, 10 speeds, super 10s. Um, I've driven 13 speeds and I've driven 18 speeds. So we're gonna go up to the stop sign up here and make a left and we're gonna continue on US Highway 60 out of Clovis. Whenever you're leaving the truck stop, take your time. Don't rush to get out of the truck stop. A lot of accidents happen inside the truck stop. Um, I've seen people pull out of parking holes and turn too soon because they're not watching their mirrors and clock somebody's truck next to them with the trailer. Now we're here, we gotta wait on traffic to clear. It may take a minute. I'm in second gear and I have my foot on the brake. When I go to take off, if we ever get a chance to take off, you're just going to let the clutch out slowly till you can feel it start to pull on the engine. That's all you want to do when you take off. You should just feel a little bit of pull and then you can take your foot off the brake. This ensures that you're not going to roll backwards, especially if the vehicle is real close behind you. Okay, we've made our legal stop at the stop sign and then we pulled up so we could see past that bull hauler that was right there. I had to do some quick shifting to get out on the highway. I do have traffic coming. It's kind of busy this morning. But I just flipped the pre-select up and I'm in high range now. These have two ranges. Low range, which is your first five gears, and high range, which is your last five gears. I'm in seventh gear right now. I get it up to about 11, 1200 RPM and I shift. The shifts are kind of quick on the low range and a little bit slower on the high range. And you want to take about a second between there. If you try to shift too quick, it'll grind. These are not synchronized gears like in a car. These are unsynchronized. You have to time your shifts. Ninth gear, 1100 RPMs, and right down into 10th gear. All right, now you're in your top gear and you're still building up speed. We recommend that you shift the low range between 900 and 1,000 RPMs on flat ground. Get it up to 1,100 RPMs if you're climbing when you're taking off, especially with the heavy load. And shift your high range gears at about 1,100 RPMs. And same thing, you may need to get up 13, 1,400 RPMs if you're climbing with the heavy load while you're accelerating. 
But that's the basics of shifting. That's really quick, I know, but you'll see more as we go along to the next videos. Once again, thank you.